Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's find the center of mass of a circular sector. Notice we have radius r. This is a line of symmetry. That means the top half looks exactly the same as the bottom half. We have the angle exactly the same. The center mass will be somewhere around this particular location. The question is how do we find the exact location of that? The way to do that is to draw a small little segment. In this case, the little segment will be in this shape. There's a small little da. And the center mass of a small, small segment would be somewhere in this neighborhood, uh, let's say, uh, right over there probably. Since this is triangular in shape, the center mass of this small little triangular slice would be one-third the distance from the base to the very height right there. I know that doesn't look quite like one-third, but just assume that this is one-third the distance of this whole distance right there. Now, how do we find the the x and the y, the x and the y coordinate of the center mass. The y coordinate would be easy, we know that's going to be zero if we draw the, the axis right here. If this is our y axis and this here is our x axis, then you can see it's right on the x axis, so the y coordinate would be zero. We're only interested then in finding the x coordinate. The x coordinate of the center mass is equal to the integral of the x coordinate of the center mass of this little slice right here, so we'll indicate it like that, times the dA divided by the integral of the dA. Remember, if this represents a plate of small uniform thickness and also that the density of the plate is the same, we can use area instead of mass to find the center of mass. The location of that can be found by drawing a line in this direction. And then we know that this here, the distance from there to there, would be 2 thirds r, 2 thirds r, and that's projected down onto the x axis. So this distance here, x tilde, from there to there, would then be 2 thirds r times the cosine of the angle from the x axis down to where that small little slice is. Let's call that theta. So this is therefore equal to the integral of 2 thirds r times the cosine of theta, that would be equal to this distance right here, that's the projection of the center mass of the little slice down onto the x-axis. And then we have to multiply times the dA. The dA is this little slice right here, which is triangular in shape. To find the dA, notice that this is basically a triangle, so it would be half the base times the height. Now the base here can be found by multiplying the radius times the angle, the d theta of that small little slice. So this would be r times d theta. And so to find the dA, we take half the base, which is half r d theta, times the height, which would be r. So it would be half times r d theta times r is the area of that little slice. And then we divide that by the integral of 1 half r d theta times r, because we have to do the same, the same again to the denominator. Let's take all the constants out of both integrals. Of course, since our angle is d theta here, we're going to be integrating over theta. We're going to be integrating from 0 to alpha. That will be the limits from 0 to alpha and from 0 to alpha. So the x-coordinate of the center mass is equal to, we have an r times an r times an r, that's r cubed. We have a 2 thirds and a 1 half, that's a 1 third, because this 2 cancels out with that 2. So we get 1 third r cubed times the integral of cosine of theta d theta in the numerator divided by, here we take out a 1 half r squared times the integral of d theta. Again, the limits are from 0 to alpha, Oop, 0 to alpha, 0 to alpha, like that. Simplifying this, we have an r squared and an r cubed. We have a one-third divided by one-half. That would be two-thirds. So x is equal to two-thirds times the integral of cosine of theta d theta divided by, whoop, let me write over here, divided by the integral of d theta from zero to alpha, from zero to alpha. Lost an r. And I need an r here right? Integrating the cosine of theta as a sine of theta, this is equal to 2 thirds r 
times the sine of theta evaluated from zero to alpha divided by theta evaluated from zero to alpha. If I plug in the lower limit, the sine of zero is zero, I get nothing. I plug in the lower limit, I get nothing, so I don't have to worry about the lower limits, only the upper limits. So the x-coordinate of the center mass is equal to two-thirds times r times the sine of alpha divided by alpha. And that then becomes the x-coordinate of the center of mass. The y-coordinate is zero, so this then can be written as the x and y coordinate center mass is equal to two-thirds r times the sine of the angle divided by the angle and zero for the y coordinate. And you write it like that, and that's how we write the center mass.